Hello and welcome to Infinity. In Lightroom, there is a group of controls called Presence, and they are Clarity, Vibrance, and Saturation. And we can we've got those here, so we can do the same thing. See if we can perp up a picture just by using those three controls. So Clarity is found here under the Live Filters, and here it is up there. It's often seen as being a kind of sharpening control, but it's not really. It works more on, on local contrast um, at the kind of texture level. And it's best to think think of it as improving surfaces rather than just edges. Water for, is, a, is a classic um, problem when trying to sharpen because it, it looks odd when you sharpen that area. But with clarity, if you improve this, Look what happens here. See the way it just brightens it up? It increases the contrast within the picture. In fact, we can go right into it. Look at this and from the middle, if we increase that, see it's just at the pixel level. It's increasing the contrast between adjacent pixels there. So that's why we're doing that. Let's also have a look whilst we're in here. And look at the difference here is down here. So leaves also benefit from this and also when we're here let's go upwards here no it's downwards and across there it is it's stonework and if i turn up again there you got the increasing contrast within that stonework and in the tree good way to do it is find something like this which is it looks a bit overdone there and just pull down, go all the way to the top and then pull down until it looks okay. Yeah, well, that's, you can say that's going to look okay. Then zoom out, control zero will get you out and that looks kind of okay there. So it's, it's fairly high, but that's right. And you can just go around the picture and check to see whether it's looking natural. So the next one is go to adjustments and vibrance. And vibrance here has got vibrance and saturation. This, of course, is saturation, not like the saturation in HSL. This is a lot gentler. And look at it from the outside. If I turn up the vibrance, you can see the leaves here, for example, are getting you know nicer colour, a bit brighter, and so on, which is what our presence is bringing to it. Um, if I bring up saturation, this is like an exaggerated version. It's a lot stronger effect. Into the fact, if you look down here, this red here is really bright isn't it if i zoom into that and if i pick up here the this little picker here and if i come down over this red look the way the red is r is 255 there that means it's at its maximum it's not going to go any further it's burnt out effectively they're just the red which this is what we get saturation will do that whereas if i put vibrance all the way up and drag this down here it doesn't do that. It gets fairly high, but it doesn't saturate things. It doesn't burn things. But you can use a combination of these. So I could, could turn up the saturation because I'd like it the way it's happening up here. But this is over burning down here. So I can use the vibrance to pull that down a bit and kind of make that a little bit better. Let's check with this here. Yeah, it is 255 there still. I can maybe turn this down a bit or maybe bring down the saturation. And I'll drag that down again. It's still a little bit burnt in there, isn't it? But it's nowhere near as bad. Let's have a look at the overall picture. That's not jumping out too much. I got a bit more life in the sky here and in the leaves. Maybe I'll turn this up just a little bit more. And maybe I'll have to do a bit of masking if I wanted to control that even more. But you can see the way we've done this. And this goes from before, a bit lifeless, after, a lot more life in it, a lot more presence. So there we go, and thank you very much for watching.